All right, we have a question from JLSK. They have multiple sprites on the page. They're all the same sprite, just copy pasted, and they want each one to come up with a different question. Um, so we'll jump right into it here. Got a new project. Gonna throw some sprites on the page. And this is their image. I just copied it over so I didn't have to draw my own and then they have them copied so control C V we have two and you can see by the name up here they are the same sprite but they are a different instance of this sprite so we're gonna grab one more and then we'll throw a text box on here so you can see our info And I'm going to use an array to store everything. And do, 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 do. that should be good for prep. Uh, hop in here and going to set the array values. Oops. And on start a layout, we're just going to set some values for our array. Setting my X. So x is 0, we're going to have this be question 1, and x is 1, we'll go to question 2, and this will just be to show that each time we click on one of the different images, it can come up with a different value. And x2 will be question 3. And I'm just going to use click because it's easier to show than to add moving and having people walk over the images. And it looks like JLSK already has that part worked out. So on mouse click on an object, which will be my sprite, we will set the text to... dot at and let's just throw one in here to make sure it's working so as of now we have three sprites oops I'm on hover I want click object click sprite But yeah, we have text, and if we click, we have question one. So now we want to make it different for each sprite. So we're going to change the value in here. Instead of forcing it to pick zero, we're going to grab something that is unique off of the sprites. So one way to do this would be uh, the Z index, which I mentioned earlier. Each one had a different one. And if we come over here, we can look we have z-index 0, 1, and 2, which is exactly what we have set up. So you can do this, and we'll see that it works. Question 1, question 2, question 3. And now, the trouble with this is the z-index is going to be off of each new element you add. So if you're doing this in the beginning, you can try to prep and get everything lined up in a row. As you see here, I have 0, 1, 2, and now 4. So if I just do sprite index and keep going here, value 3 is question 4, and value 4 is question 5. Boop. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 here, but it's not going to grab the fourth question. It's going to go to the fifth question. So <coughs> another way to work with this is we can set instance variables. And oops, start out at zero, and then they're all going to have an instance variable now set, and we'll give each one their own value. Two, three, four, oops. and then we'll set this to.
variable 1, which is the variable I just created. And now we can get question 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then if you wanted to create another one, you would set the variable to 5. And you could build something so you can do this real time if you want to do, 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 let's see, on mouse, let's go on click, on right click, done, and just going to add a global here. make this a little bigger so we can see that it works and we're going to create an object on click so create object and we're going to want a new sprite and Just do 75, 75, and then plus times 10. All right, so this will just set stuff at 125x and 125y, and then we're going to change this each time we make it, so we'll move it over so we'll have access to click on them. Otherwise, we'll just stack them on top of each other. And then current value was going to go up each time. And then also, sprite set value to current value. And we're going to want this before it gets plus one each time. So now when we right click it's going to create a sprite for us and it's going to go ahead and set that variable to current value which is going to start out at five because we already pre-built four of them and then it'll increment that current value so we have our normal one two three four right click creates one we have six and that's because I did not uh, keep in mind that the index starts at zero uh, when you're using an array, so my numbers didn't line up. But we're just going to set this to four, and we'll do the same thing. Um, so one, two, three, four, right click, here's five, right click. And I'm clicking on both of them, so that's why it looks weird, but if you click only this one, you get five. You click only this one, you get six. Um, and this just gives you a way to do it uh, real time, so you can add things continually through the game and you can update the question bank on them. These ones won't have anything past seven because that is the highest value I made in here. But that should uh, get you started with being able to have the same sprite hold multiple values. Best of luck.